there is a part of us, a part of us all, which is never satisfied, never satisfied for long. It starts very early. They say it starts around about 18 months and into the terrible twos. When something happens, when we think to ourselves, ah, I end here. This is me and this is outside of me. This is what I've got and this is what I haven't got. But at, at that early stage, we don't realise quite what belongs to us and what doesn't. So we grab things like toys and they become possessions and they become a part of us. And we're terribly stricken with grief and sorrow if we lose them or are taken away. We all know about this. But what we don't seem to realise is that this dissatisfaction of wanting more, to identify with more, to feel that we need to have more, stays with us for most of our lives. In fact, for most people, probably all of their lives, right up until ripe old age, maybe when they're lying on their deathbed and they're thinking to themselves, well, I built an empire. I put in all that effort and all I've got left now is a, is a bed and a wardrobe and a dressing gown, if they live to that old age. So what is this in us that is never satisfied? You could use the term a mindset. And the mindset is that I am my mind. I am the emotions which arise out of my thinking. And I am my body. And it's identification with the physical body, the thoughts that go on in the brain or around the head, and the emotions which are aroused by things usually, seemingly, outside of ourselves. Something happens in the world outside which we don't like. Or, if it's something we like, we add it to ourselves. and We feel proud for a moment, but then the dissatisfaction comes back and still we want more. Still we are not enough. The point is we have always been enough always been enough. Once we can get out of this business about thinking about what I am and just being quiet, being absolutely still with no mind chatter arising and realising we're still there. This is the I am, which we all are. I am with nothing else added behind it. No other words. Not I'm a plumber. Not I'm a housewife. Not I'm a rich man or a poor man. Just I am. That's what we carry through us from the moment we're born until the moment we die. And I believe when our body goes, that I am still exists. The I am is the infinite consciousness of which we are all a fragment, all a part. The analogy is given, we're like waves upon the top of an ocean. We identify with the wave tips above the ocean. We look at other wave tips thinking they're separate from us. But no, we are all of the same thing. We are all of that big, deep, infinite ocean which we could describe each of us as I am. And that's what you are and that's what I am. We are all one. The illusion is we're separate but deep down, deep down, 
we are all one.